Okay, so this time... We're not gonna try to take the fucking liquor on and stand there like a dumbass and let it kill me. And do our best to not do that. Collectible's still blown up. Uh... <clears throat> yeah. What we are gonna do first is go back to the car to see if we can get some more ammo out of it. Maybe there'll be something good in it like, uh some more either grenade yeah we already saw all this stuff um more grenade launcher rounds or maybe a hand grenade or something there we go let's just try not to disturb the locals huh Two of those, okay. <clears throat> okay, let's try this uh, key for this car first. Let's see what it does. I'm assuming it's this car. I mean, is there a number on the side of it? It's like 7439. 236. I don't know. <laughs> ah, here we go. Nice. I can't pick it up. Well, I can actually, because I'll just get rid of this. <clears throat> Alright, yeah. Wow. And it's got a laser sight. Interesting. What does the description read? 13 shot 9mm handgun. First used double stack magazines. It was a Marvel firepower at the time due to how many rounds it could hold. Alright. So this is basically like a Browning HP, a 13 round capacity. Okay, well, hey, new handgun, can do that. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This time, if we have to eat an herb, we're going to hurry up and not eat the one that I'm going to need. Um, so let's just... Yeah. Bro, you can't get through that fucking door, can ya? Okay, let's hit him with this one. We got him. And that means we've still got two grenade rounds left for the next one that shows up. Nice. Glad I got this handgun. See, it really pays to go back a little bit and check around. <laughs> Load screen right after that fucking thing killed me told me, oh, you know, if you have to, there's no shame in running from liquors. <laughs> That's rather fucking pointed. All right, so we get some acid rounds now, too. Although acid rounds definitely seem to be the uh, 
stronger of the two flame rounds, not so much. <clears throat> okay, that's the meat locker. Um, what is this? I'm gonna have to find a square crank somewhere, man. Nothing. <sighs> a red herb I can't do anything with, or I would. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. No. Fuck you. I'm put you back in there. You don't get to come out. The roaches, they can come out. Let's see what else we got. Because I didn't even check all these last time. Well, there's nothing in there. Was this one, I believe. <clears throat> yep. There we go. Yoink. What the fuck, dude? Really? You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Oh, this is amazing. This is fucking great. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, little fucking pissed off right now. So why don't you guys go ahead and come out of that door. I want my knife back. the hell what is he stuck or something they can't bang that door open whatever no not that this um Here we go. Okay, we'll try an acid round on this liquor, see if it kills him in one shot. God damn it, dude. Fucker. Hmm. Okay. To ditch our little fucking revolver here pretty soon. It's just taking up inventory space at this point. Uh, that's not gonna open, but... Wow, she's really on a tear, aren't you? Hell is up with you. Jesus Christ, okay. Let's just go ahead and keep fucking going, I guess. I mean, what else am I supposed to do here? Oh, more red herbs I can't do anything with. Sweet. Alright. Uh, 
Oh boy. Oh, I missed. Wow. It can't hurt, right? Alright. Let's try and get the fuck out of here. As the game seems to be picking up a little bit, getting a little bit more difficult, which I like, but as long as I'm not, you know, getting overwhelmed, I actually like... I like the uh, laser sight a lot better than the fucking targeting reticle, honestly. A lot more accurate. What do we got here? Raccoon Monthly, June issue. <clears throat> Attention all Raccoon City heroes. Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right. It's Police Chief Brian Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and stern father that loves every last one of his a sinful children. It's odd. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, art preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we've missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family, Chief Irons said with a soft smile. Did he now? That bastard is the police chief? Yep. Oh, hey, cool. Uh... Crank candle slot. Yeah, we don't need a red herb. Card reader. Okay. Oh, hey. Well, we will be on a return trip to the fucking police station real quick here. I'm fairly confident that's where we're headed. I mean, we're technically still in the police station, but... Got here. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Definitely. All right. Okay. So now we should be able to take the elevator. Huh. I need that. So get rid of this single red herb. Okay. So your razors are going to all damage to slow to reload. Oh, now it takes up two inventory spots. Well, that's lovely. I really need to ditch this fucking revolver. Okay. Let's just say. Not for general use. Fuck yourself. How about that? I'll take it wherever the hell I want. I'm so glad that it lets you do that. Get my flashlight back, maybe? No? Oh boy. Emails to Chief Irons. Please, Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you must. WB. Uh, Police Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away, but don't worry, this will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you to and everything will be alright, WB. Uh, Police Chief Irons, you are, uh, you are to up the security around my lab. Your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on site. Doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're Umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way, WB. Police Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time it is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. WB. The Warner Brothers is run by dicks. Ooh, alligator. Interesting. 
Yep. <clears throat> Some machine gun ammo. Hmm. Okay. What can we store? Um this, honestly. Uh what else? We gotta develop this. I mean we can store that for now, but we'll come back to it. We're gonna need these. I mean I really should have used those by now. They've just been taking up inventory space. I forget that they're there, honestly. Um I mean we're gonna take the submachine gun ammo, but it's just gonna go right into the fucking box because we don't even have the goddamn weapon yet. All right, we got it saved. Um, so I guess Chief Irons doesn't have the corpse of the mayor's daughter this time. Yeah, there's that tiger. Or maybe he does, I don't know. Fat asshole. Hmm. Hmm. Thank God. The key card. Okay, we need that. Uh <laughs> Okay, so we need some circuits. There's something to complete the circuit. No. Oh look, there's a there's the heart key. Okay. Nefertiti and Tutankhamen. Perish letter from their description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office. It sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stores is at the station to repair the bell on the clock tower. We sent a few spare parts with him, and he reported that he left one on the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, the clock tower. Okay. I don't have to push this to climb up and get the crank. Okay, I guess not. All right. How am I doing on ammo here? Eh, not so great, but that's okay. Okay. Um, so, what can we get rid of here? I mean, honestly... What did two of these make? Oh, it makes submachine gun ammo. God damn it. <laughs> well, we got plenty of that now. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to go from here and see what happens. All right. I don't think there were too many heart locks that I came across. Suck it, little raccoon bastard. Some more shutters to open. Where the hell am I? I don't think I ever got to this part of the police station. Oh look, there's more fucking boards. Oh my god. I really need to start using those. All right, at least I do have a self-defense item now. Never gonna bitch about handgun ammo. What do we got? Nope. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh shit, there's the uh fire from the helicopter. What's with all the fucking blue herbs out here? Alright, well, let's see what can happen. Oh.
Okay. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but all right. Sure, whatever. Oh my fucking god, I've almost punched a hole clean through her skull. Yeah, I mean, there's not much of a face or a skull left there. Blarg. <laughs> Ooh. Um, nah, nothing doing with that. Ah, I wish my fucking grenade launcher hadn't a... <laughs> Ended up taking up two fucking inventory slots. So I'm just diverting the water, I guess. Yeah. Necessary. Okay, so we can put the fire out now. How awesome is that? Ooh. Get back some of that handgun ammo I just wasted. Um, I guess we should... Yeah. Before I put that out, we should go back up this way and check that room. Yeah, in there. I know there was liquors in there, I could hear them, but... Actually, no, I wanna... Can I not move? Well, okay. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I thought I had the acid round equipped. I want to save that. Man, I hear it, I just... Oh, it is a zombie. Oh, well, fuck. What the fuck? Okay, I ran past him. <sighs> Worth it, I guess? No, not really. You know what? For wasting my goddamn time, I'm just gonna leave you here. There we go. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Any comments or feedback, just leave them down at the bottom. If I missed anything and you know, or... Ooh. Fuck. Boxed electronic part? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Hey! See you up there, you little bastard. Um... Yeah, we need that. Um, yeah, I wish my goddamn... Greatly reduces kickback, gives each shot a more stable trajectory. I don't give a shit about that. Can I... 
I was hoping I could discard it. Yeah, I know. But I'd rather have the knife, honestly. Yeah. Oh, shut up. I'm busy. I have much more important things to do, like putting out fires. <sighs> so, that was a bust, but, you know, you gotta check everything. Even if you end up wasting ammo, no big deal. All right. I believe there was some... Yeah, I really need to develop this film. Now... Yeah. All right, how are we gonna get past this? What the fuck? You gotta be kidding me. Jesus. You? Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, it's the tyrant. Oh my fucking god. Why are you so mad at me, tyrant? Dude, fuck you, get away. Jesus, oh Jesus, gonna die, gonna die. Gonna fucking die. Claire, run faster. You're not running fast enough. You're also stopping at the door for some goddamn reason. Jesus Christ, dude, how do you get rid of this thing? God damn, I hope I got away from him. Oh, that was horrifying. <laughs> I fucking hate that guy. He's such a penis. Oh, hey, there's Marvin. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey man, no, 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 you don't want to do that. Fuck. Fuck, he's still following me, god damn. up some of these goddamn windows. Jesus Christ! Why won't you leave me alone, tyrant? What the fuck, man? Oh, that's right, I have the her fucking pendant amulet thingy. God damn it. Claire, you have to run faster than this. Oh boy. I'm sorry I'm being so quiet, but seriously, it's fucking horrifying having that dude chase you. That's fucking... <laughs> I forgot about that. I wasn't even expecting it. In a way, I'm glad that I never watched any, like, a lot of videos on this, because that totally would have been spoiled for me, I'm sure. I'm mostly just going back here to try to get away from him and give him... I don't know how his pursuit goes, how 
far away you have to be for him to break off from it, or if he disappears and then, you know, spawns somewhere else. I don't know how that whole thing works, so we're just going to go all the way back here, and we are going to use this little electronic thing on the chief's door. What? Can, can we open the fucking box, maybe? Take the thing inside of it out? There's only one, huh? Are you kidding me? He's back here already? Oh, sweet Jesus. Um, am I wearing it? Try hitting him with an acid round, see if I can knock him down, but there's no fucking guarantees in this game, man. Especially with how tough the fucking zombies are. God only knows. Um Okay, so we're gonna take one of these first aid sprays I've been holding on to. Uh yeah. And then Okay, and then we're gonna head downstairs. Cause this is in a direction that he is not. Alright, use some of these fucking boards I've been... ...meaning to use and haven't. Alright. I hear that motherfucker walking around upstairs. Again. Let you out, huh? Yeah. We all know how this ends. Just oh, oh shit. Um, fuck. What do we get rid of? Fuck. Oh, you know what? Yes, there we go. We need that because we can use that jewel. Yeah, the jewel opens this up. Fuck, okay, we gotta make it back upstairs then. Nope. Nope. That's a whole lot of nope. Nope. A lot of nope. Gonna go in here now. Nope, right the fuck out of there. Okay. Uh that in there and we're gonna take this red jewel combine that with this fucking box what do we got stars badge and this will allow us to get the submachine gun we just have to make it back past the giant monster that wants to probably crush our skulls. So we're going to go ahead and save, and then we're going to pick it back up from here and go see if we can make that happen. But all right, guys, I will see you next time.